I hope everyone is okay with what we have done so far. Um, but if you are struggling, I think we can have a question and answer session later tonight at around 10. So I'll be available for 30 minutes. Uh, people can ask questions regarding uh, EUP 1501 assessment number five, okay? So let's move on now to step number seven. Okay. So step number seven, the instruction reads as follows. Insert a new slide with comparison layout and enter information as indicated below. Okay. So we are basically going to replicate this, but in a form of a slide, okay? Uh, if you just downloaded your, wo your working document and you did not do any modification, you will realize that this information here, it's actually an image. Uh, but I've taken the time to convert this into simple text because I just want to copy and paste it, okay? So let's let me show you uh, downloads, uh, downloads. Okay, let me open another instructions file. Uh, okay, so I'm opening another instructions file. This one, I did not modify it. Okay, in any way, I just want to show you. So if you click on this one here, you'll see this is an image. Uh, this is not just text. This is an image, and you cannot just uh, copy the text inside here okay so what I did is to delete this one try to uh, create this uh, manually okay that will take you some time but anyways yeah it's advantageous for people like us who like creating videos okay so enough about the history of that don't save this uh, let's continue with the assignment okay so it says insert a new slide with comparison layout and enter information as indicated below. Okay, go back, uh, comparison layout. This is what we are interested in. So while we are on slide three, we need to enter a new slide. Okay, you, you, you right click and then, ah, no. Let's just leave this option here. After clicking on this slide, you go to new slide. Okay. And then we are looking for comparison layout. Okay. So it will end, it will create a slide just below the one that we were on. Okay. So now we have the comparison layout and then they said uh, we need to use all this information okay so this one will be our title just copy the text if you have something like mine uh, in your case you are supposed to type this manually okay uh, uh, it seems like most of you will type this manually just be careful about uh, spelling mistakes and stuff like that I think they're just trying to test you okay so I'm not gonna have that problem I'm just gonna paste this as text okay and then after doing that uh, I'll go back to my see if you look at this uh, something is wrong there I need to change the size okay to make it look like this uh, as you can tell this size it's huge I want this to be in one line okay so I'm going to change this to maybe 40, 40 is not working, 32, okay, 32 is fine. Okay, benefit of using technology by government, okay, that's fine. And then I'll go back to this one here, and then I'm going to copy this, uh, copy the text, and I'm going to paste it. So it, we're basically playing a copy and paste game now. Copy and paste, and then I'm um, I'm going to copy this as well. Okay, maybe I, I need to stop talking now. 
before some of you say shut up okay then we are going to copy this mm -hmm. this is gonna be interesting yep exactly so you'll see now I have two bullet points we need to uh, erase one okay uh, erase this one and then I am going to copy this tag. Uh, no, don't move this one. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin my table. Okay, copy the text and then paste it just below this one. Okay, and then you you paste it just below this one. It will give you double bullet points. So we remove them as well and then after doing this uh, remember it must look something like this okay so I'm gonna increase the list level but for now let's just continue copying this text okay I'm gonna copy the text here and then paste it here okay this one is gonna be a bit longer okay then you delete this then you delete this and uh, do the same for the last uh, okay do the same for the last one I don't know why I did that okay hopefully it did not show personal information mm-hmm okay and then add another bullet point and then paste it okay get rid of the extras get rid of the extras and then we go back to our working document as you can see so now after improve improve efficiency we need to or increase the list level for this one okay so let us do just that uh, we go back to our working document improve efficiency we increase the list level for this one okay and then we'll get something like this after cost saving we increase the list level for this one and then we'll get something like this and then we do the same for this one increase the list level uh, and for this one increase the list level and uh, now what do we have is it identical let us look at it okay so this one here if you look at this one uh, the last two lines we have paperwork comma and physical and the last uh, word is infrastructure we need to make it identical you see it's not identical so change this to 19 change this to 19 I'm just gonna type 19 here change this to 19 you see it's exactly the way it's supposed to be and then you do the same for all these ones here okay so if you use this tool here you just copy the formatting okay uh, we do the same and uh, we also do the same uh, with this one okay and then now we compare if the text appear exactly as it, it is supposed to okay the, in this case this is 19 this is 21 why is this 21 let's make it 19 that's not supposed to be 21 let's make it 19 let's make this one uh, 19 as well okay let's check the text if it appears the same so for this one it's citizen satisfaction uh, let's compare uh, it's not citizen satisfaction okay what we can do is to citizen satisfaction can we how many lines first let's check 
uh, one two three four okay one two three four uh, one two three four five okay let's let's do it like this okay I think this one let's look let's check the second one any 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 time and everywhere two words three lines two words uh two lines three words so can we squeeze this a little bit okay i think that this is perfect now okay so in terms of the size between these three let us compare them in terms of this one uh, this one and this one they all have the same size so let's just change the sizes so that means this must be 19 as well because it's the same size and uh, let's use this tool and then same thing 19 and the same thing 19 okay I think uh, let's see uh, what font was this this is Arial but I don't think it matters this that much but anyways this is uh, Arial 14 uh, Arial 9 but we're not gonna do that anyways let me try and see mm. what is Arial uh, Arial I'm just I'm just taking chances I think area looks better. Let's let's make it all area. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. think anyone will be penalized for this but I just like having my stuff four lines okay four lines let's four lines four lines three lines okay let's do that let's try to get the balance right four lines yes four lines four lines three lines but we need to get that anytime yes that's perfect this is perfect okay so yeah this is perfect okay so we're done with this slide now uh, we are done with step number that was step number seven okay so let us let me confirm if everything is fine okay everything looks fine everything looks fine but why is this uh, three lines let's confirm why 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 did I do that no we need to we need to change this to to four lines <laughs> but it, this is just my hobby guys don't stress too much about it now it's 100% perfect okay so our objective is to get everything right okay so now it's perfect okay so let us uh, finish here with step number seven and then we'll be tackling step number eight on the next video